<laughs> As Ted Barron said, knock yourself out. Okay. Good morning, Dudley. So, October 14th, we're going to vote uh, to approve the minutes from the September 9th, 2022 <laughs> regular meeting. Joanne has to abstain. So moved. So, I'll make that unanimous. Uh, number two, vote to approve the executive meetings from September 9th, 2022. Joanne to abstain. So moved. And uh, we'll make that unanimous. And then I'm going to turn it over to Joanne while I sign my life away. <laughs> okay, I make a motion to approve the levy 2022 boat excise commitment in the amount of $4,069. Second. Uh, unanimous. Make a motion to approve the levy 2022 motor vehicle commitment in the amount of $50,657.97. Second. Unanimous. Make a motion to approve levy 2022 motor vehicle recommitment in the amount of $70.51. Second. Unanimous. Make a motion to approve motor vehicle abatements in the month of July for $1,073.83. Second. Unanimous. Make a motion to approve motor vehicle abatements for the month of August for $212.53. Second. Unanimous. Make a motion to approve the motor vehicle abatements for the month of September in the amount of $921.36. Second. Unanimous. Make a motion to approve the following accounts that were outstanding prior to the VEDA conversion. So FY 2017, <laughs> two tax bills at 148.05, FY 218, two tax bills at 145.45, and FY 2019, four tax bills in the amount of $495.09. Second. Unanimous. And now we're up to old business. I guess there that's Lisa. Pages here yeah, so... Um, our RC has completed our personal property. That's that's all done. Um, we're very close to getting our values approved. Um, I was working with Jerry yesterday. Um, I submitted the LA3, which is our sales reports, and a preliminary LA4. So that'll be looked at, and any questions from Boston will trickle down to Jerry, which will trickle down to me. Um, they need a neighborhood map of the town, which we don't have. A neighborhood map. What is that? So Main Street is a neighborhood six, which is, and, and Tobin is probably a seven eight. So it's a desirability. So land value? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to put into our GIS maps a layer that shows all the different neighborhoods. So the neighborhood five will light up as all red. All parcels will be in red on the street. And they do this every year. We just use magic so markers and have, sharpies. So what if you're on Lakeview Ave and you're on the water and then the other's not on the water? It, it, it may be the same neighborhood. It may not be. So well, it can't so, be if you're going by land value. So on the water, there's what we have as a water, uh, waterfront factor. Yep. So that would be the neighborhood would all be, say, a six. And then you're going to get a little bit extra on the land through a waterfront factor rate. Okay. But you you are in the same neighborhood. Gotcha. So, so we're working on that. We had 344 parcels that we have to do all kinds of stuff for each parcel. It's like five or six steps to get the neighborhood in there. For example, there's an override. Okay. I'm sorry. Say that again. So if there's an override on the land line. Override. An oh, an overlap. Override on it's your override. land, overriding the value. So, for example, we override the acre excess acreage at twenty nine hundred dollars an acre. So, the the first two acres yeah, in yeah, the prime yeah, lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I and then we do an override and put That's, in twenty nine hundred. Call that excess land value. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just so different terminology. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that we had a bunch that had overrides in the on land line one. So yeah, sure. So what we have to do is we have to go in, and we have to put the neighborhood where the override is. Save it. Then we have to go back in, put the override back in, and that bumps the neighborhood that we plugged so, in to the right. So we're doing all this because of the DOR? To make a neighborhood map. But this is a one-time thing, so once this is in once this is in vision and moving forward, we make sure that any new parcels are in there like that. Another mandate without funding. Well, they, we could have gotten a big map. <laughs> And every every time we do this, get magic markers and highlighters and draw on the streets. <laughs> oh, and that's how we've always done it. So we're moving lines? up in the world. <laughs> and 
and so this is a one-time deal um, and it cost us seven it cost us seventeen hundred dollars but John found some money for that that he's putting in from town meeting so he they're paying from not our budget um, and now every time like when we do in a butters list we'll um, we'll update the, the maps with our vision software so all the ownerships are updated when we do in a butters list off the map so that'll be another layer that we update every time we go into the map are we able to access those then okay. the neighborhood map uh, it's not done yet. No, yeah, but I mean, but yes, it's public. That'll be one of the layers. Yeah, they asked if we wanted it password protected, and I couldn't. And that's another nine hundred and fifty dollars, and I'm like, I Why can't see. Why would we want to do that? Right, and that's what I asked, and they said every town's different, and I said I don't see that no. being a problem. It's all public records. Exactly. Um, I don't think I have any new business except for what I just told you which was under the business. So now the next meeting date. That's a Wednesday. November 16th. Okay, so November so 11th. November 18th. <laughs> Probably. Um, yeah, so never, can't do November 11th because we're closed. It's Veterans Day. Well, next Friday is November Oh, I put, I put that in there because I, I'm not going to be in town the 17th or the 18th, so I didn't know if you guys wanted to do it on a Wednesday instead, or if there's we a better just date. We push it out another week. Nope. Well, you're going to push out to the 25th then. Yeah. My only concern is I have to do my classification hearing, oh. and I'm, I may need things voted okay. on. Okay. All right. Maybe I would be better off. No, but that would be better off later, right? Oh, think. Or you want to, yeah. I might want to do it later. Um, let's let's shoot for the twenty fifth then. I won't be here. I will. You're gonna be here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh wait, we might not be here. That's the day after Thanksgiving. Right. I believe. Oh, We're right. closed. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> that's that's, I, I, you know, that's I, interesting. I didn't okay. want to say anything, but yeah. Yeah. Um, can you do a Wednesday, like the twenty third? Sure. All right. Can you do that? Yep, yep, I can do that. All right, so you want to make, take a vote on that? Uh, I make a motion that we meet on November 23rd. Second. Unanimous. I make a motion that we adjourn the public meeting. Second. Unanimous. Now, you, he needs to read that? Yes. Okay, so we vote to convene into executive session under MGL Chapter 30A, 21A7 to comply with or act under the authority of any general or special law or federal grant and aid requirement. Discussion of application for tax abatements and or exemptions, including any necessary votes pursuant to general law chapter 59 and 60 and or GLC 214-1B as applicable. Joanne Simsack, aye. Dave Durgan, aye. Uh, unanimous. Okay. So we're adjourning at 8.16. We're done, Ted. Boy, I wish we knew you were all done. We'd give you a pink badge or something. <laughs> Next time. Next time. Yeah. Next